This is Mark Michelot from Building Aspirations walking you through the Robly email marketing software and I am going to create a campaign otherwise known as a newsletter or more specifically an email marketing newsletter. So I'm right here under campaigns and I'm starting at campaigns. There are different types of campaign options here. This autoresponders is a series of campaigns. Now, now I don't have any here, but I can create an autoresponder series. And typically that's campaigns that are linked together. So you create the series of five welcome campaigns. And when someone's welcomed to your database, to your store, to your business, they get these five campaigns. And then there's a little bit of activity activity summary that tells you what you did and then you can view the archives and there's a couple of test emails that I have out there that are have been archived and let's go back to the campaigns here most of the time the most dominant button on the page is going to be the primary thing that you're doing on that page so I'm going to say create a new campaign now what type of campaign do you want to create now this is a tool that help guides you down the path and there there's it, it's designed to be quick and easy to use nothing overwhelming about it and then so there's three different options we're going to do a, a drag and drop we can do a text or we can import the html html is actually code okay the text means that it's just going to be a black and white email no visuals in there most of the time you're going to do this drag and drop so we're gonna select and then there are various templates here and you see there's a blank template there's breast cancer awareness there's a three-part template back to school and there's various different options for you and let's say we want to do you know let's do something for Thanksgiving okay Happy Turkey Day. I'm going to select Thanksgiving. And it brings up the template. Now the template is your starting point. Okay. It's the template. Okay. You're not married to what it looks like or anything like that. Okay. So this is the template right here. And the graphic is right here. Now you notice that each of these little boxes are highlighted. So that means that when I'm up updating this, I'm updating this box. So notice that when I'm updating this box, all I did was left mouse click on it and all these options click up, uh, pop up. So if I click away, click over here, see those options are gone. So I'm highlighting this thing and I'm left mouse clicking. Uh, here are all the options. Okay. And this is very similar to, to Word. Okay. These are this is a fairly standard toolbar right here okay so here I'm gonna make that bolded and let's make it a little bit bigger and let's change the color and let's change it to just red just to show you okay there you go and then you you update the text right here what do you want to say right there and that's a little bit small so let me click that and make it just a little bit bigger Boom. there you go and you know what let's say we want to make that a link so I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna make it a link right here the little chain I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna type in the URL There you go. Boop. And um, I can make it open in a different window or I could just not worry about it, but I'm going to open it in another window. I'm not going to underline it. I'm going to click OK. And also you have different options. You know, links mean different things. You can have a link to an email, link to a telephone, link to uh, uh, SMS. You could link to the file manager if, if you want someone to download a PDF file or a document or a brochure or something like that. But let's just stay with the URL and click OK. The URL you entered seems to be an external link. Do you want it to the? Uh, do you want to add the required HTTP colon slash slash? Click OK. All right. So and and 
throughout Roblox, you'll get a lot of little pop-ups like that. You know, Roblox thinks you made a mistake or it's reminding you that you're actually confirming something. So it, it that's good stuff. Now notice that all the way at the top here, we neglected to give this a campaign name. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to say campaign one. Now I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, but that's a horrible name. Okay. Don't please don't ever name something newsletter one or Thanksgiving newsletter or something like that, because I want you to go back and find it later and maybe even reuse it. Okay. And after a while, you're going to have a large library of newsletters. And if you don't give them meaningful names, just like files on your computer or in your phone, don't name them file one, file two. You can't find them, right? You know, make it something sensible. Now, the campaign name, that's internal. The subject line, that's external. So I'm clicking on the subject line. Are you ready for Thanksgiving? So this is what people are going to see in their email box, okay? And I encourage you to save often, so I'm clicking the Save button right here. And, okay, that's confirmation that we saved. And notice that the, the timestamp um, tells you what time you saved it, so it keeps you honest. Now, we really have a campaign right here. It, it's it's kind of done, you know? Um, obviously... Um, we can add a lot more information here, but you see the template is there. Got it. So let's just assume that, you know, we don't want this, this part in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here and I'm going to click on this little trash can and I'm going to delete it. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yes. Ah, boom. Done. Okay. And learn more. I'm going to delete that as well. Boom. Okay. So let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to click over here and I'm going to say preview. So we're going to get a little pop up and it's going to show you what it looks like. Okay. So this is the preview. This is the email that you're, you'll be sending to somebody's inbox. Okay. Now notice that there's desktop over here and then there's mobile. So this is what it will look like on a desktop. This is what it will look like on a typical mobile device. And right now, as of the time of this recording, depending on your target market, but we've definitely exceeded 51% of the people read their emails on mobile devices. It could be as high as 75%, depending on, on the demographics of your market. So I'm going uh, back here, and now we can even send it if we want. Okay, this is a very basic one, but I'm just showing you the test. So I'm going to go next step. And would now what you want to do is you want to send it to a specific list. Now you can send it to everybody, but I'm not going to send it to everybody because this is a test. I think I have a newsletter that says just me, not a newsletter, but a list that says me only. So I'm going to click on me only and I'm going to check the campaign size right there. I'm going to send it to one subscribe contact. So that's good. Okay. And I'm going to go next step. And the campaign, I'm just going to leave it as campaign one. You know, I'm going to change the from name. And I encourage you to be personalized, Mark Mickelot, because people don't want to do business with do not respond or office or something like that. They want to do business with a person. And I notice that this is potentially grammatically incorrect. It is a question. I'm adding a question mark to, to there, right there. Are you ready for Thanksgiving? And the email address is, is from me and reply email address now people get confused by this you know sometimes if if they actually reply to it do do you want to receive it or maybe that should go to the office manager or your administrative assistant or something so you can add different reply messages here okay and you just add a new um, email right there and there's a little verification process but this is going to come from Mark at Building Aspirations. Reply email is Mark at Building Aspirations. And next step. And notice that the campaign, we have this little ch checklist over here to show you where you are. Okay, do you want to archive this campaign? Do you want to enable OpenGen? I'm going to turn off OpenGen for not. And, and uh, OpenGen is the following. 
It's a little bit of technology that analyzes who is opened. And if they don't open within a certain amount of time, you can resend them the campaign. This little functionality can increase the open rates overall by 50%. Okay, but uh, that, that's uh, opportunity for another uh, instructional video. Okay, Robly AI sending. This is another great advancement. And what it is, is a technology that tells you when people are opening. So what will happen is it will send the list and then you can you can set, okay, within 23 hours, modify when people are actually getting it. Okay, so for example, you send the list at 10 a.m. Okay, the first time you, you send to a list, everybody's going to get it at 10 a.m. But then after a while, the software learns, okay, Mary always opens in the afternoon at 2 o'clock. Brian typically opens right away. James is going to open three days later. So what it will do is it will figure out when the best time to send these messages are and send them in such a way as to be specific to the characteristics of the actual reader. Okay, if you didn't get all of that or all of this, I mean, don't worry too much about it. These are really uh, advanced features that enable you to get 50, even 100% greater success rate from your overall email marketing. So if you're using Google Analytics right here, you put in the, the tracking information for Google Analytics and do the next step right here. If you, there's some, some advanced steps if you want to connect with social, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on schedule the delivery. And then there's a little calendar here. I'm going to send it tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. And I am going to schedule it. And campaign was queues to be sent to one person. And there you go. From beginning to end. Okay, it took us a little bit over uh, 12 minutes to show you everything. But you know what? I went through a lot of advanced steps. And you can do a, an email marketing message um, very quickly with Robly, um, quick and easy to use tool. This has been Mark Michelot from Building Aspirations. Thanks for being here, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.